Well, good morning. Your honors, Lieutenant Governor Lee, this is Lee, your uh, guests from Los Angeles, uh, Mr. Lemieux, MLA Wing Hospital, your worship, uh, counselors, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is indeed an honor to be able to join everyone here on this momentous occasion. You know, 100 years, that's a significant milestone. And we all know Bollinger started before that, you know, with the rail line going through, agriculture has been taking place in this area for almost 200 years. And this community started to grow. Think of the hardship of starting those communities you know, before the internet, before hydro, before telephone, before television. You know, you think about the hard life. And you guys have this great heritage museum that demonstrates the hard life and the hardship that people face farming, resource harvesting, uh, then the glassworks came along, and slowly the community continued to evolve into what is now one of the most vibrant communities here in Manitoba, never mind in this riding. You have made significant contributions to your area, to the province, and to the country. And you should all be so very proud of everything that this community has accomplished. <coughs> Accomplishment is because of that pioneer spirit, that dedication to hard work, that dedication to community spirit, wanting to help each other, help thy neighbor. So when all the Canadians started to come here as immigrants from Eastern Europe, from Western Europe, and started to work with the Aboriginal communities that were already established. Look at what you have accomplished. You can have so much to be proud of. And that's why I'm so proud to be your representative in Ottawa. It's the people that make the difference. And as Minister Lee already said, you guys have this great sense of philanthropy, of volunteering, of hosting you know, great events whether it's the annual rodeo, whether it's your heritage days, whether it's the bogging championships and the competitions that happen out on the track, or it's special events like curling and hockey. Everybody's always stepping up, wanting to showcase this community always in the best light. And you have some fantastic facilities to host them in. You know, I gotta thank all the committee members that put on this weekend's event. It's a huge undertaking, especially when you're gonna have to battle the weather today, but I know the rest of the weekend's gonna be good. Uh, I'm proud that the Government of Canada, through, through Heritage Canada, has been able to help offset some of your expenses with a grant of uh, $32,400, and I know that's being put to very good use. You know, when we think about the contributions that this community has made to the area. The one thing I do want to recognize is our veterans. They have played such an important part, not just for Canada, but for Bozizer. Because so many of those veterans came home, you guys have just next door here, one of the most active and, and uh, great legions in, in the whole area, in the, in the region. And we have to say thank you to all those veterans, those that made it home, and of course their comrades who fell in Europe during World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and are still, we have so many people from this area that have gone to Afghanistan, uh, that are serving in the Canadian forces today. So we have to pay tribute to them, because when they go to fight, when they serve in the Canadian Armed Forces, when they become a soldier, a pilot, or they're serving in the Navy, they're thinking about home. They're fighting for this community, and for the people that are in it, because that's their ideal Canada. And so we have to pay tribute to all of them. So I want to present a plaque in recognition of this great occasion. Well, on behalf of the Government of Canada, my colleagues in the House of Commons, and over in the Senate, and of course on behalf of the great people of South Carolina that I get to probably represent, I just want to read it to, uh, to the town of Bougier. Uh, for 100 years, this town has survived hardships and celebrated achievement. The hard work dedication and perseverance of the original pioneers and founders lives on today in this great community. Congratulations. 